Hi everyone, welcome to the episode number 5. I hope you are enjoying the series so far and if so, please make sure that you like the videos, you give comments, it really motivates me. By the way, I am recording this lecture the second time because uh, in the first record, my tab was off so I was not able to record its screen. So it went waste. But no problem, we are recording it again. Um, and the question is whether a string is a palindrome or not. You all know what are, what are strings, right? Now, in this question, we have to evaluate whether the given string is a palindrome or not. Now, what is palindrome? We will see with the help of examples. So, we have radar. Radar is a palindrome. Why is it a palindrome? Because radar is same as its reverse. Okay. So, take a pen and paper. Write the reverse of radar. What is the reverse of radar? So, R, A, D, A, R both from the left side and from the right side. Radar is radar. Same for refer. If we take the reversal of refer, it will be refer. If we take the reversal of known, it will again be known. So a word which is equal to its reverse is called a palindrome. Okay. Now car is not a palindrome because reversal of car is rack. Reversal of apple is reversal of apple is alepa. So this is these are not palindromes, right? So now we have to evaluate whether a string is palindrome or not. One very simple way is of course, if you know how to find the reverse of a particular array, reverse of a particular string, you will be able to do it very easily. Okay. If you don't know how to find the reverse, we will do it very soon. Maybe in the next lecture, we will find the reverse of a given array. Now uh, let's say, let's say we want to evaluate whether the string is a palindrome or not. We can do it very easily with the help of the symmetry. Okay. So R, A, D, A, R. We can draw the line of symmetry over here. This is the line of symmetry. Okay. If we keep a mirror here, we will get R, A, D, A, R, red R. Right. Uh, let's say, let's take the example of noon. N, O, O, N. Noon. The line of symmetry is over here. Okay. What does it mean? It means that the first character is same as the last character. The second character is same as the second last character. The third character is same as the third last character and so on. So this is this is how we can get the intuition of using a two pointer approach. Now what's a two pointer approach? It's a fancy name. It's a very simple approach. We'll just keep two pointers. One pointer to the left side, one pointer to the right side. These are the pointers. It is pointing at index zero. It is pointing at index number one. Oh, sorry, index number. Let, let me uh, index this. Zero, one, two, three, four. So R is pointing to the index number four. Right now we will be comparing whether the character at index number zero is same as the character at index number four. If it is not equal, obviously it is not a palindrome. If it is not equal, let's say instead of uh, R here, it was, let's say P, then it was not a palindrome, right? But uh, the leftmost pointer is pointing to R, the rightmost pointer is pointing to R. So they both are equal. That's why we will evaluate the, uh, the remaining of the string. So remaining of the string for this L will be incremented to this R will be decremented to this index number three. And we have to evaluate for the remaining string. So L is pointing to A again, R is pointing to A. So that's why they both are equal. We will again increment L. We will again decrement R. Now they both L and R are pointing to the same character. That's why they, it is equal. And yes, it is a palindrome. Okay. So we concluded that the given string, the given string is a palindrome when L and R eventually merged when they both came together okay now let us take an example of a non palindrome so let's say a p x uh, e and a this is the string 0 1 2 3 4 l is pointing to 0 r is pointing to a r is pointing to 4 now comparing these two l is pointing to a r is pointing to a it is equal no problem move l move l to 1 move r to 3 now, L is pointing to P, R is pointing to E. Are they equal? They are not equal. Hence, return falls from here. Return falls. It is not a palindrome. Okay. So, this is how we can solve this problem very easily with the help of two pointer approach. It's a very simple approach. Just keep, just keep two pointers. They both are integers. Start one pointer from zero. Start the second pointer, which is R from N minus one and compare them. Okay. After comparing, increment L, decrement R. Compare them. After comparing, increment L, decrement R. Compare them again. If they are not equal, written false. If they are equal, then again, increment L, decrement R. And keep doing that until L and R eventually meets. And if they meet, we will be able to conclude that the given string is a palindrome. If they are not, if they do not meet, and in somewhere in between, we evaluate that 
pointing uh, the l is pointing to a different character r is pointing to a different character we will be returning false from there a very simple approach now how to solve it recursively so whenever we use recursion we are very lazy right we are very lazy most of the work we uh, we ask recursion to do we do a very little of the work so that's what we are going to do here let me take a bigger example here a b c e e c b a now it is a palindrome right it's a palindrome let me index it one two three four three four five six seven so this is l this is r okay we are going to write a function that function will be a recursive function that function will contain this string and will also contain this l and it will also contain this r okay that function is going to return us whether the string starting from l till r is a palindrome or not okay whether the string starting from l to r is a palindrome or not so how is that good function going to work we are writing that function so while writing that function we will do a very little work we will just evaluate the character which is pointed by l and the character which is pointed by r we will just look at these two characters if they are not equal if they are not equal absolutely it is not a palindrome we will return false simple this is the first step compare the character at l and the character at r if they are not equal return false nothing else right let's say if they are equal then what do we have to do we will have to evaluate the answer for the remaining portion but we are not going to do that, do that. we are very lazy we will ask recursion to do it for us we'll ask recursion to do it for us okay what does it mean when i say recursion to do it for us we'll ask the same function to evaluate the remaining of the string okay so let me jump to the coding part it will be much more clear there so i'm making this recursive function bool and its name will be palindrome helper it's going to contain l and r and of course the given string s okay what did i say first of all we will see if s of l it is not equal to s of r simply return false and let's say if it is equal then we will do nothing we will ask recursion to evaluate the answer for remaining string okay so we are going to ask recursion this is recursion to evaluate the answer from l plus one till r minus one it means the remaining of the string and if it is true then return true if it is false then return false it means that return this itself if it is true it will be returning true if it is false it will be returning false as simple as that now the base condition the base condition is let's say we keep moving l towards the right side and r towards the left side and eventually they end up meeting together and they if they end up meeting together we will be concluding that it is a palindrome so if uh, this l is greater than or equal to r in this case return true okay as simple as that only these three lines are going to give us the answer whether the given string is palindrome or not very simple okay let me return this palindrome helper starting from zero uh in initially l will be zero and r will be n minus one what is n s dot size s dot size size of the string minus one and yes that's it let me submit it i hope we will be able to get it accepted in a very single go yes we got it accepted so this is the recursive function i hope you are able to understand it so what uh, let me just conclude it what we are doing here we are keeping two pointers left and right our focus is to compare the character at l and the character at r if that is not equal return false if that is equal then the remaining portion of the string will be evaluated with the help of recursion okay will be evaluated with the help of the same function all right so that's how simple it is and the base condition of course you know the base condition i already explained it when they both merge together then we will conclude that it is a palindrome so i hope you are able to understand it let me quickly draw the recursion tree as well because i know many of you are still not comfortable with the recursion tree let me draw the recursion tree so let's say this is the function we are taking the example of red r only r a d a r red r zero one two three four um initially i'm calling this function the function's name was is uh, palindrome helper is palindrome helper was the name of the function it contained l and r and s s is not going to change s is ne never going to change l and r are changing so i will just um i'll just write l is equal to zero initially r is equal r was equal to four initially so initially it was zero and four then uh in the first step we are evaluating whether they are equal or not so if they are not equal we will return false but here in this case they are equal 
So we will go further to the next step. The next step is to make a recursive call to the same function is palindrome helper by passing 1 comma 3 l plus 1 r minus 1 okay 0 plus 1 and 4 minus 1 so 1 comma 3 now 1 comma 3 again we will be calc we will be comparing them so at 1 we have a at 3 we have a and it is equal so we are not going to return false here we are going to go further okay we are going to go further so we'll make again a recursive call uh, l plus 1 is 2 r minus 1 is 2 now we reach to 2 comma 2 and if you notice this is the base condition it is the base condition so we are going to stop here and return true from here so we will be returning true it will also be returning true and it will also be returning true and finally we will get true as the answer right now take an example of a non palindrome string and draw the same tree and see how will it return false now this is your homework okay this is your homework a very little portion take a pen and a copy draw the recursion tree for a non palindrome and make sure that you submit this question i'm providing the link in the description so you can go to the question and try to solve it by yourself okay if you are not able to completely understand it okay before that let me quickly uh, also tell you what is being going on in the in the recursion stack so the stack will be formed uh, inside the stack how many recursive calls will be there so we will be starting with l is equal to 0 r is equal to n minus 1 right so l will go to 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 similarly r will keep on moving to let's say if it is starting from 4 it will keep on moving to 3 2 uh, so eventually they will meet okay in the worst situation they will meet in between in between okay so l will move n by 2 times and r will move n by 2 times right so there will be n by 2 number of function calls n by 2 number of function calls in the worst case okay yeah. so uh, this stack will grow to n by 2 this will be the size of the stack also the number of nodes in the recursion tree will also be equal to n by 2 okay so the height of the tree is also n by 2 number of nodes in the tree are also n by 2 that's why the space and the time complexity both are big O of n by 2 which is equal to big O of n space and time complexity both are big O of n here in this case right so what uh, this we evaluated for the worst case what is the best case in the best case in the best case uh, there will be only one call one function call and that will be let's say the character at the zeroth index is not equal to the character at the n minus oneth index in that case we will not make any further calls we will simply return false from here for example let's say we have um, a p p l e apple so in apple uh, the first character and the last character itself is not equal is, is not same so in that case we will return false from here we will not try to explore the meaning of the string so that will be the worst case but we hardly care about the uh, that will be the best case but we hardly care about the best case we care about the worst case and the worst case we will keep comparing we will keep comparing until we meet and we will meet in the middle so that will be big O of n by 2 I hope you are able to understand it if there are any doubts at all you can watch the video if there are still doubts you can let me know in the comment section I will try to clarify it by making another video by improving this video or maybe in the live sessions but make sure that if you have any doubts mention them in the comment section also mention them if you like the video or not all right let us meet in the next video bye bye